I'm looking pretty neat again. But I'm also going to show you guys how to apply the product to your hair. Because some of you guys have been asking me how much... What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So first off, thanks for all the support you're giving me guys and thanks for all the great questions on the channel. In this video I'm going to address some of the best questions I found and some of the questions I think that some of you guys will find a little mundane but to some of you it can be of great help if I answered them in a video. So a lot of you guys have been asking me a lot of good questions regarding RU58841 and I want to address a lot of these questions in this video for you guys. This is also why I am not wearing any kind of hairstyling even though the hairdresser has opened up again. So I'm looking pretty neat again. But I'm also going to show you guys how to apply the product to your hair. Because some of you guys have been asking me how much and when and where and such and such. And I want to, I want to share with you guys how I do it and whatever has been working for me so you guys can see how I did it. So first note this. This part is actually recorded before the part where I mix the solution. That is actually because, as you can see here, I almost don't have any more solution left myself. So I'm going to spend this last part of the solution to show you guys how I make it. So since some of you guys have been a little confused on how much to apply and how to apply it, especially when you have long hair like I do, how you're supposed to do it. Okay, so first things first. A good, a good thing to start with is, with is always to take your hair down. Now what you guys actually can see is that I have some areas that are still thinning a little bit. So one, one thing that's important when you're doing this, get your hair down, okay? Now mine's a little bit stiff, but I'm going to try and do this for you guys. And as you actually can see, if you look very close here, I have a spot here that is actually a little bit thin. But overall, looks kind of good at this point. If you followed my guide, then you should at least apply one milliliter of this every day. This means that if you use one of these droppers, a whole one is one milliliter. Usually what I do is I take first a half and then I just get my hair back a little bit back so I can get down in the scalp area and I squeeze it in. And from here, actually I'm, I'm just rubbing it around. And yes, at this point I know someone is going to say, yeah, but how much is going to get stuck in your hair, yada, yada, yada. I know it is going to get stuck in your hair. Of course it is. That's the problem with having long hair. Besides that being a problem having long hair, you should take in consideration that some of this is going to get stuck in your hair. It's also why I usually apply it over two times. One in the back of the scalp and one in the front. And trust me, you don't want it to run down in your face. Uh, you especially don't want it in your beard. So that's why I actually apply it. And then I run my fingers back through my scalp so I can catch whatever is getting down in my face and just push it up. And yes, your hand is going to get greasy. This hand, whatever, both hands, wash your hands when you're done. It is a topical anti-androgen, but if you take this hand, put it in your mouth or anything stupid, it's going to go systemic. Remember that, guys. Whatever you're doing, wash your hands when you're done. But seriously, don't, don't be afraid to get greasy with this. Get it in your hair. Usually what I do before bedtime. That's when I apply it because this will take about 30 minutes to dry out and my hair is going to look oily and greasy and you can already see it's uh, going wild at this moment. 
So I apply it before bedtime, 30 minutes before, so it can dry, so you don't get it on your pillow, because that's just nasty. And you don't want to smear it in your face. Okay guys, before bedtime, when you get up in the morning, just wash, just rinse your hair, wash it lightly, get it out, use some products, get going. The last thing you want to know, it looks like shit when you have this in your hair. You can't see it at this point, but my hair is going to lump together. So there's no point for you guys in taking it in the morning and then just going out for work or anything, because trust me, you're going to look a little bit oily. But this is also another good opportunity for you guys to look at my hair. This is actually my main defense against hair loss, as I said before, as I also said in my book. I'm just going to fix my hair. So this is how you apply it, guys. So let's take a look at what you're going to need if you're going to mix your own hair solution. First off, we need an empty vial to mix it in, or to just take it out with a dropper. A trick I use is that I put the powder onto a bill because they are non-adhesive, so you won't waste any of the powder. Then you're going to need a minoxidil solution. Anyone will do. This is Q-Gain, you can use Kirkland or whatever you want. A spoon to take out the powder. A scale, these are one of those little drop scales or whatever you can call them. And at last, of course, the IU58841. Guys, if you want to know where to buy this powder, it is in the description. There's a lot of questions where you can buy this on the channel. Just take a look at the description. I'll post links for everything you're going to buy and need up there. So just look at there if you need anything. So let's get started. So what we want to do first is prepare the scale. It's pretty easily done. The way I'm going to mix this is that I'm going to use 3 grams of IU with 60 milliliters of minoxidil. This is going to give me a solution at 50 milligrams for each milliliter of minoxidil. Okay, this is the minimum dosage I recommend use, and it's what I personally use myself. And if you want to add in a little more, you can go and use like 1.5 milliliters a day, which equates into 75 milligrams of IU58841. That is plenty, guys, unless you're on steroids, uh, any kind of anabolic stuff. But we will cover that in another video. Let's get started. So of course, first what we want to do is we're going to remove this plastic. So everything is nice and ready to go. Then I want to weigh up my three grams of IU58841. I'm just going to open this just to make sure so it's a hassle when you're almost ready to go and then you have to open the bottle and it's stuck and yeah. And please remember guys, when you do this, if you're going to use anything as a tray on the scale, put it in place, leave it there, then start it because it will start at zero so you don't have to subtract anything or miscalculate. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but as I told you before, I am going to mix three grams of IU in my minox little. If you need the cash or if you're on a budget, of course, try not to uh, use too much of it. But if you're going to get like half a gram more into the solution, it, it's not going to hurt you. Um, it 
it's not the end of the world, guys. So just do it if if you are if you're on a budget, of course. Then try and make it last as long as you can. But of course, this is your hair, guys. So compared to a hair transplant, it's still way cheaper just to use a little bit more uh, instead of being on the stingy side of it. See, this is why I was using the bill. Because, as you can see here, it is actually pretty clean. So, and that was more or less that. And just put the bottle cap on. And you can just shake it. Like, this is not something that is going to break chemically if you shake it. So I actually had a little bit of my own old of my old solution left. So I just want to show you guys just just complete the video. It's actually fairly simple. Then I just put it over here. Oh, that was actually a full bottle in there. Now this one is empty and luckily for me I just made a whole new fresh one, put the drawer in there and there you have it guys, your own hair formula to stop androgen alopecia. Hope it helps some of you guys. So another great question I had was if I'm still on the finasteride and what my take on finasteride is. So when this question was asked, I wasn't actually on finasteride and I haven't been on it for almost two years at this point. But actually after thinking about the answer, I decided to go back on finasteride. Now why did I go back on finasteride? First, you should know that I am on TRT testosterone replacement therapy and I have been for the last four years now. So to get my point you need to understand the difference between minoxidil IU58841 combination and finasteride. So the IU58841 blocks the receptor area in the scalp making any kind of androgen activity reduced. This means that the DHT you produce will have a reduced effect on the scalp area. Now, how finasteride works is that it actually reduces the DHT in your body systemic. So if you take some DHT reduction and you reduce the number of the DHT, let's say molecules in your body, and then you reduce how effective they are then you have like a 1 plus 1 equals 4 solution. So actually I wanted to regrow some of my hair even further because you know how it is. I'm used to this now, I want to get more back. So I want to try and see how it's going to work. So at this point I actually just started out on 1 milligram of, min of finasteride every day. And I'm going to stick with this for at least a year and just keep track of my progress and of course, keep you guys posted on how it works. Keep note that I'm also doing a lot of other stuff, a lot of other stuff, guys. And I will, of course, explain all of this to you. Another good question was, do I apply it once a day or twice a day? The company that makes minoxidil says you have to apply it twice a day, but it can be applied once a day. And I think this will suffice most of the time because the solution of RU58841 is going to stick in your hair for so long and your scalp area and it's going to be active for at least 18 hours or something like that. So I don't think there's any good purpose or reason to apply twice a day unless you have a very aggressive form of thinning 
then you should do that and also even consider something like a hair transplant, some finasteride and whatever you can use. Another one wants to know about the side effects of RU58841. Now I'm really sorry that I didn't get around this the last time, but it's actually because since it's not an FDA approved drug, there's no list of side effects, but I can explain some of the side effects that's going to come. First, since it's an anti-androgen, you can you can actually inhibit facial hair growth. If you if you have it like running down your face and in your beard, you can actually inhibit that growth and ruin your beard. So that's that's also why I'm pushing backwards when I apply it, because you don't want it other places. Okay, guys. This brings me to another question. We can take two at once here. Some of you have asked me if it's dangerous and even one guy said it was like unhealthy and stuff and didn't even come with any reasoning for this and explanation. But what I can tell you guys is, as I just said before, it's an anti-androgen. While IU58841 is applied topically, it works local in that area as an anti anti as an anti-androgen. Wow, I'm going to say this a lot of times. Okay, so finasteride is taken orally and it's going to work systemic. That's the whole point. Like if you put something into your body, it's going to work on the whole body. And if you put it on your face, then it's going to work on your face. Now what happens, let's say if you are a messy guy and you get the stuff on your hands and you put them into your mouth and lick your fingers or whatever dumb shit you can do that could make it go systemically. This can actually be a really big problem. That's also why I told you guys to wash your hands when you're done. Okay. You have some androgen receptors in your heart. You don't want to mess with them. You don't want this stuff in your mouth and down to your heart. Now, keep in mind, guys, this sounds really terrible. It's a pretty long way from your hand down to your heart, it can happen. Okay. So just be precautious. Don't, don't mess around. Don't drink this shit. Okay. Don't get it in your mouth. Like it's, it's not fucking rocket science. Okay. Like gasoline, it can, it can blow up. So you don't blow a lighter at it. Okay. Same stuff here. Just keep it away from your mouth. These are mainly the side effects you can expect. And the last two questions for today is first one was asked, did I notice any initial shedding? Now, if you're using the solution that I just shown you how to make, that should happen. Mostly it will happen because of the minoxidil. Okay. IU58841 is not going to make you shed any hair. If it is, then it's not the real drug. Okay. So it shouldn't happen if you just use the drug with a carrier vehicle without minoxidil. Okay. That's the first one. The last one is where do you buy RU58841? And guys, just look in the description. There's everything you need. And it's also in other videos and whatever and whatnot. It's all in the description. Okay. Okay, thank you for today, guys. That's all I have for you. Now, if you like this kind of video where, where I go through some of the comments and questions, please just post more questions for me. I will get by and answer them as good as I can and as fast as I can. And if it has been any help to you guys, please just hit the like and the subscribe button. Helps me with the algorithm, such and such, and it keeps me just going. And I know you guys want to see this kind of videos, okay? I enjoy making them. It's fun for me. And in this way, I learn more myself and I want to share this with you guys. So just hit the buttons and we'll see you next time.